It's 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I've been up since about 6.15. Had to go to the bathroom and could not, like, I tried dozing back off and then Brian was driving me nuts. <clears throat> so I'm like, oh my god. So he went and made coffee and then he realized that he needed to go drop off his truck to get an oil change. So that is where I am headed now is to possibly pick him up from the oil change place. But I wanted to stop off at Starbucks, but Starbucks is like on that side of town. It's not like on that, like yeah, it's over here and the oil change place is over here. And I wanted to get a Starbucks. But I probably still will get one. Um, I just don't, I just don't know when. But good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. Um, as you guys can see, we are <laughs> up and early. And uh, last night we had a huge storm come through. I don't know what time it was. But then we lost power and we were without power for a good hour, hour and a half or so. And we ended up losing all of our cable as well. So last night, Brian and I, um, like we had no zero internet, no cable, everything was out. And um, so Brian and I, I mean, we went to bed at like a normal time. And uh, luckily I just kind of turned the Wi-Fi off on my phone and just, um, we kind of watched Netflix for a little bit. We watched Ghostbusters, the first one, not the second one. We watched Ghostbusters, and then um, we watched some of Ghostbusters, and then he, oh, excuse me, he rolled over and went to bed right after Zool. And then um, I watched uh, Can't Buy Me Love. I love that movie, it's so cute. I always, when I see that girl, I always feel so bad because she died like a couple years ago, or she died, yeah, she died like a couple years ago, or she died, she has already died. I know she's already dead, but I, mean, I can't remember if it was a couple years ago. Anyway, nonetheless, I know the girl died that played in that movie, but of course, Patrick Dempsey was um, the kid who played the nerd in there. Um, I love that movie. If you guys love Can't Buy Me Love, leave me a comment below and let me know with a heart. Yes, I love it. Um, that's like one of my favorite, like one of my top like 10 favorite movies of the 80s. I love that movie. Um, but today, I don't, you know, we don't have anything really planned today. Um, just hanging around the house. Uh, hopefully the cable, they said the cable, I called this morning just to check on the cable and they said that um, cable will be restored around 10 46 this morning so hopefully you know brian and i going out and getting a few things done um this morning we'll kind of like yay gonna be time for the cable to come back on um because after I, I pick him up down here i am going to well, we have to go to AutoZone. he wanted to go to dunkin donuts shame on him and um i needed to run into walmart <laughs> because I wanted to get my cookies. Shame on me. Um, but I love those cookies. And I like I don't like obviously sit down and eat like a whole bunch of them at the same time. I just like being able to know that when I want one, they're there. So I usually get quite a few little packets of those things. And then we're gonna be home. Um, not much, like I said, going on this weekend. Looks kind of boring, but that's okay. Next weekend and the week ahead, oh my God next afternoon oh, the 4th of July week is just gonna be busy 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 we're gonna be like constantly on the go and I just you know although I'm gonna have videos and stuff up for I think you know that week that we're gonna be gone I'll have videos up um, but it's gonna be when I get back it's gonna be tough because we don't have like Brian's parents don't have internet my parents don't have internet old school well my parents say that they have internet but they really don't um so old school and so it's going to be very hard for me to like upload things so i will not be able to upload videos and edit or anything like that so all of that editing and uploading is going to happen when we come back from our trip so just 
bear with me, people, because it's just really tough to um, edit and do vlogs and stuff. It's not, okay, let me, it's not, it's hard to edit. Let's just say it's hard to edit and put content up when um, you don't have internet access, which you guys all should understand that, but anyway. I don't even see Brian anywhere. He should have been like, kind of like right in front of me. Maybe he went like the other way. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like windows and doors. Ooh. Like an antique place has a door. windows and doors. Ooh. Because one week from today, I was one week ago today, I was at the beach hmm. with my kiddo. Hmm. Hmm. Oh look, yeah, there he is. He came in from the other direction. That's so funny. It's like, why did he come in from that way? I just took this way, it's a lot easier. But he took that way. Oh, that's so funny. But we ended up here at the same time and he left before me. Oh, and that's not even him. Oh, there he is right there. I'm like, that's not even him. This is him over here. That's so funny. Like, it's a white truck and I like pulled it behind him and I'm like, wait, that's not a Toyota. Bri Bri has a Toyota. So, and this is him right here. All right, I'll check back in with you guys. Let's to the bathroom. Anyway, you guys, we're at Walmart right now. They're shortbread. Chocolate. So, oh, they're around here somewhere, but anyway, so we're at Walmart. Go. Okay, great. Um, and down that like bread aisle where I always got my cookies, they moved. Okay, the display. Display. okay. They removed them from the end of the bread aisle, and she said that I could go online and try to find them, but they said that the boxes that they put them in after they moved them from the end of the aisle are in the back. So she's gonna go look for me. If not. They have them at the Walmart in Monroe, which is like a little further down the road from us. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have these. Have to have these cookies. And I can't believe that they don't have any here. All they have is vanilla and chocolate and orange cream and peanut butter, and I don't want those ones. Y'all, I'm having a come apart. I am having a fit. This is just not right. You guys, she hooked me up with seven of those things. Seven packages of cookies. The last seven that they had in the store. Shout out to Bonnie at the Walmart in Loganville for being an awesome, awesome customer service representative. She was amazing. So, Brian just got a phone call. He has to put like a serpentine belt in his truck because it was about ready to go, which was bad. Um, whew, we got to keep keep an eye on that stuff. Brian's truck is 10 years old. Um, and you know both of our vehicles are have been paid off for several years but um he needs to get that fixed because it's very dangerous if he goes down the road guess what boom ruined vehicle and then we're gonna have to be getting another one which is not something that we want to do right now um but anyway brian is in advanced auto parts really quick to pick up a few things that he's needed and um, I actually wanted to tell you guys, okay, so you guys know how I've had this like little like cyst bump thingy right here on my neck. Now where did it go? Right down here. I've had that there for quite some time. And um, I finally called the dermatologist and um, I have an appointment July 10th to go have that looked at hopefully and removed. So uh, I'm looking forward to having that done because it definitely needs to be removed. Uh, so yeah, but the rest of the day looks like, oh, and I got my Starbucks too, by the way. Ah! I stopped off at Starbucks before we went to Walmart and got it. So I was drinking it like through Walmart or whatever. And I'm still so amazed at the, um, the help that Bonnie gave me from Walmart. I am just so 
so thrilled by that. I mean, she stopped what she was doing because she was like stocking shelves. She stopped what she was doing and helped me and went to the back and looked for those cookies and helped me look online. I mean, just everything. She stopped what she was doing and did everything for me. Amazing. And then as Brian and I were leaving, some old lady was complaining to two of the employees that she couldn't find anybody to help her. Nobody could help her. She had to reach really, really high to get the potato chips. And I said, well, I didn't have that experience. I said Bonnie was amazing and so the Walmart other the people that she was talking to said yes Bonnie is amazing and I said yes Bonnie was amazing um, but yeah poor the, you know but you know some people are just gonna complain about everything if I you know she didn't help me or give me the help that I needed or said oh you know you should find those and whatever she didn't stop I still wouldn't complain I just be like okay well you know I'm out of luck whatever I'll go I'll drive to the Monroe one to get my cookies I would have never you know I don't I'm not like a complainer like that I don't want to like <clears throat> I don't know I just don't there are certain things that I will complain about you know but the other things no like Margaritaville <clears throat> last week which I wanted to share that like in an update, like when I talk about Margaritaville, which I need to do that soon. Um, but in the Margaritaville last week, when we checked in, the first thing that I noticed was the amount of sand that was on the floor in the, the room itself when we walked in. Um, I had to like leave towels laying all over the place so we could wipe our feet off just to get in the bed because the sand was so bad. And mind you, we hadn't been to the beach yet to get sand on the floor. And I understand that there's gonna be sand on the floor. I totally get that, but not the amount of sand that there was when we were there. Um, it's like they didn't sweep it or vacuum it. I mean, you can sweep the floors and you can vacuum them up. And I, and I understand that there's still gonna be some sand in there, but not the amount of sand that was already in there. And then, um, uh, when Brian was laid down to rest for just a little bit, he noticed like tons of black hairs all over his pillow. And then I had black hairs on the towels that I used when I took a shower and got out. I was like, ugh. So, you know, I didn't say anything then while we were there, but it was amazing that as soon as I got back, like the, ne like the next day, so Monday when we got back, I received an email from Margaritaville thanking me for this stay, um, asking if I could, if I don't mind taking a few minutes and doing a survey. So I took a survey and I um, was completely upfront and honest with them and I let them know, you know, in this like lengthy little message um, that upon arrival, this is the things that happened. But the overall stay was amazing. Um, the staff was amazing. I love the location location of the resort. We didn't have to leave the island for anything the entire weekend. Um, we loved the amenities and the convenience of everything that was there, just that those few things were just a little unacceptable, especially paying $400 a night. Yes, $400 a night to stay there. Um, and the towels were yucky and they actually smelled too. The towels had an awful, awful odor. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, so the guy, we kind of exchanged um, messages back and forth a little bit. So they offered us a free night. So um, we will be going back and staying a free night um, there. So I'm looking forward to that. But of course, I'll pay for the next night because I don't plan on like moving the hotels unless Brian wants to. But because um, usually we're only there for about two nights anyway. Um, so we'll see. I just don't plan on like, you know, picking up my stuff and having to move down the street to another resort, but nonetheless, we got a free night. So we definitely will be planning another little trip there, um, probably towards the end of July, maybe August sometime. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But I did want to share all that with you guys. I just haven't been able to sit down, um, and do a, like, a, a, a review of it over on my other channel which I will do but I um, mean you guys have already heard it here so if you guys don't watch the other channel <laughs> then you guys have already heard it here so um brains still in auto zone <laughs> or advanced auto parts <laughs> yes I'm ready to go home and uh I've almost finished this oh here he comes he's coming out right now yay so I washed my little red bowl up and added it to my little display here tray um I actually have um no I don't I didn't do a haul on these but this is what I got the other day at the TJ Maxx um so now I have the red one and the blue one and I have this tray which I absolutely love thumbs up Robin I'm catching up with you girl you guys, we have been without cable all day. 
It has been like nightmarish. I know, isn't that like so horrible to say? It's like so many problems in the world and I care about cable. Um, anyway, so hey, we're headed out to go meet some friends for lunch and to watch the soccer game. And I thought that I would share with you guys what I am wearing. So basically, let's see if I can be better look. Oh, yeah, there we go, better lighting. Okay, so I have this um, like cute little tanky shirt on that I got from Old Navy a while ago and then I have a blue a, like a blue bra that matches it so it doesn't look so like tacky um, and then I have this cute little skirt on I'm gonna show you guys like but see the mess that I have by me but anyway so here is the little skirt that I have on it's the same you know color as the shirt as you guys can see um, so yeah I have this like skirt on it's so cute I'm gonna wear um, like silver little sandals with it um, I love it. It's so nice and it's comfortable and again, it's one of those things where I've had this in my closet for like ever and it's like I've just now decided to put it together. But I will say I've always kind of had this idea this is kind of what I wanted to wear it with. I just did not have the right bra to go with it and I did go to Lane Bryant the other day and picked up some new bras and this was one of them because I knew that with this color I can wear these tops so it won't look bad. So. Um, Brian is just not getting out of the shower and then we are going to head out. I actually have to get gas first. <laughs> Hate getting gas. Um, but I have to get gas and then, um, then we're going to be on our way. So I will see you guys there. Yeah, we'll Good here? Ooh. Um, Thai chili calamari and they got pot stickers. What's in the pot stickers? Pork? Yeah. Cabbage. Good, Good morning, friends, and happy Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I am on the front porch this morning. It is so nice outside, even though it's like muggy and humid. It has such a nice breeze outside that it's just so relaxing. And I just kind of was walking around my yard looking at all my flowers and the mess that we have with everything and see what flowers are dying and what see what flowers are alive um i i've always said this before i am not like a green thumb i don't know like if i'm over watering or not watering enough or i don't know much about all that stuff but um anyway um this thing has seemed to um stay really alive which i'm very thankful about it's already kind of bloomed i don't think it's going to bloom again i don't know for those of you who are green thumbs is that going to bloom again this thing is getting really really big and long which i absolutely love and then from the storm the other night all the wind blew all this crap in here so it needs to be blown out again um and then of course this thing is getting so big look at that potato vine but i have all these little like bugs that are eating it and so I think I need to put seven dust on there from what I've been told and then this little basket's doing really really good too obviously you know this thing has bloomed I don't think it's going to bloom again um, but it's doing really really well but this thing not so well <laughs> so I'm, I think we're just going to take that out maybe try to find something else to put in there because again I'm not exactly sure but then all of these are going to bloom these are all of my black eyed Susans and these are about ready to bloom, but these ones bloom. So I don't know why like these ones did and those didn't yet. And then I have all of those back there that are going to bloom. And of course my cone flowers that I have here, which is going to look really pretty once they all bloom together. And then all of these, these are about ready to all bloom too, which I'm very happy about all that. So those look really nice. So happy about that. Brian's watching his truck. put really quick we have to get sponges for washing vehicles we have to get a new spray nozzle and Brian needs to get oil for his mower so I'm gonna need you guys to remember that for me because as soon as we get there we are going to forget what we need and then we're gonna be standing around going what do we forgot what do we need here what are we gonna get here um but tomorrow I am headed over to London tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm going to go hang out with her tomorrow um, at her pool. So um, it's going to be such a nice day tomorrow. We're going to just kind of sit by the swimming pool and veg out and have some lunch poolside and just sit, chat, enjoy the, 
you know, enjoy poolside stuff. <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna do. So I'm super excited about that. But I came in because I'm gonna change my shirt really quick um, before we run to Home Depot. I'm really not liking my chubby legs here because they're uh, looking very, yeah, yuck. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So for breakfast this morning, I made these um, like scrambled egg croissants and I think I'm just gonna um, take them off of here and warm them up for tomorrow morning's breakfast. And they were so good. Brian wasn't like a huge fan cause he doesn't like like um, the croissant stuff. He's not, he likes them separate. He doesn't like stuff in it. But anyway, I thought it was good. So um, I'm gonna just put these in a little plastic bag and then save them for breakfast tomorrow morning. And then I laid out for lunch today slash dinner. Um, I think we're gonna do like a hamburger patty on the grill and then um, do up some brats. And then we could have these brats that we don't eat today leftovers for tomorrow. So that um, makes it simple and easy. And we always buy the Johnsonville original brats because they are the best and they are so good and we are not going to do bread with our hamburgers we are just going to put cheese on them and dip them in ketchup and mustard because I'm trying to not have bread even though those croissants I'm just I, I was trying to get rid of the croissants we didn't need them in the house anymore that's kind of why I did that um but um, we don't have any bread in here. No bread in the house. No more bagels. No more nothing. Um, and that's it. And Brian has Krispy Kremes right there, but he's taking those to his guys at work tomorrow. So, um, because he's teaching class tomorrow. So, all right. So we're gonna be off to Home Depot. Let's go to Home Depot. Harry Potter's on. Alrighty. So, whoa. There's my phone. So we went to. Uh, we went to Home Depot and picked up some stuff and um, I got some lunch made for sandwiches tomorrow so I can make a sandwich for when I go to London's and that's basically what I just had for lunch today. And then um, Brian and I um, came home and had lunch. I forgot what else we did. Oh, and he's getting ready to mow and then um, we haven't, obviously we're not going to do dinner until later on tonight which is our burgers and brats. And then um, that's it. I think that's about it. Oof. I think he's getting ready to mow, and I'm going to read my text. Let's see who that'd be for my sister, probably. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, right. Um, so, anyway, it's so funny. Um, Brian sent me this text. I'm going to share it with you guys. It's so funny. And I, so I sent it to my sister. So, it's, um, it's this. Hilarious. He sent me this text about Fix-A-Flat. And look what it did. It's like this lady has a very flat butt, and then this lady has a very nice plump butt, and he sent it fix a flat, does it? <laughs> He's so funny. So I sent it to my sister. She's like, Yeah, I wish. Even though I think my sister has a bigger badonk donk than I do. I don't know, I'm just saying. Um, but I'm glad they're not like flatties. Well, mine's kind of kind of get there um but anyway all right so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here that way i can get this like up and edited and ready for you guys tomorrow morning so thanks for hanging out with me this weekend i totally appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'm almost at 4,000 subscribers and i cannot believe it i am i'm just beyond thrilled for that but um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you guys